Okay, so let's go over how to take quizzes in D2L. Before we actually start this, I highly recommend that wherever you're taking the quiz, that it has a secure and stable internet connection. You don't want your internet connection to drop out or get funky or faulty as you're taking this test, especially if it's a timed test. So just be aware of that. You might need to go to the campus machines or maybe your local library to ensure that your internet connection is strong when you're taking these quizzes. So in order to take the quiz, you'll go to the quiz area. You should also be able to access it through content if your instructor has added it into the module that it belongs in. But if I click on the name of the quiz, you can see before we do that when it's due and also how many attempts you have. So I only get to take this quiz once and it hasn't been graded because I haven't finished it and then it's also due in a week. So I can go ahead and click on this quiz and it's going to give me... Um, the time allowed, so it allows me one hour, I can do one attempt, and then this will also have any instruct instructions that your instructor has added to this. So I'll go ahead and click Start Quiz, and when you get into here, it should start showing you the countdown. So as you can see, here's the time limit and the time left, your name and that you're on attempt one, and then these are a bunch of multiple choice questions. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is that there are 25 questions for this quiz right now. Um, as you answer one, uh, I'm not even gonna read this because I don't wanna waste your time, but I'm just gonna click there. You can see that all of a sudden this pops up as saved. You can also see that question one has been saved. So you can say, okay, cool, I've done that question. Now, we've always been told, even in elementary school, that if we don't know the answer to a question, just skip it and come back. That's no different in taking a quiz in D2L. If I don't know the answer to this question, I should just keep skipping until I know a question that I can answer, so I'll go ahead and click that. And you can see that for each question I answer, it saves it and I'm getting these check marks. So as I go through and answer these questions, and even though this one is showing that there's only multiple choice and true false, just know that some of these quizzes will actually have short answers and long answers, and those can't be auto graded, but at least you know that there's all those different types of questions that can be asked. You can also see that each of these quizzes um, also has the ability to have images with it. So I'm just going through and clicking on each one of these. And there's so many questions in here. All right. So as I get to the bottom, you can see that um, I can submit the quiz, but it's also showing me that only 23 or 25 of my questions have been saved. So as I look back through here, I can see that question number two, I'll click on that, and it'll jump back to it. Two and three, I wasn't able to answer. So now that I have a ton of time left in this quiz, I should take my time to really try to figure out, figure out the answer for all of these questions. So when I'm done, I'll scroll down to the bottom, and now it says 25 of 25 questions have been saved. Do you want to submit the quiz? So we click submit and it'll verify. Are you sure you want to submit the quiz? And yes, you can submit or go back to really check your answers, which if you have this much time left, I highly recommend that you use the time to check your answers um, and then submit the quiz. All right, now here's the thing. When I hit submit, the instructor has set up this course so that I can actually see the questions I got right and the questions I got wrong. Your instructor might not even let you see the questions and what your answers were. So you'll have to talk to them to be able to view that feedback or view um, what you did right and what you did wrong if you can't see it after you first turn in the quiz. So as you can see, I got zero out of two points for this because I answered personal notebook and the actual answer was desktop. So let's see if I got any of them right. Yep. I got one right. So this one, it just shows you a checkbox. And if the instructor added feedback for this, um, like this is telling me what page it was in my textbook. So I can go back there and find the answer and make sure. So um, so this just allows me to see what I did. And, and if I had another attempt, it also shows me my score, which is terrible. So, all right, let's go ahead and click done. And that's how to take the quiz. This is what you would see if, if your instructor didn't let you see all of the answers to the quiz and, and your answers and the actual answers, etc. You would just come to this where it shows an attempt. Now, just know that if your quiz had a couple of short answers and long answers, those can't be auto graded. So you might have done well on the test, 
but it's going to count them as zero for now until the instructor goes back through and manually grades those um, short and long answers. So don't freak out if, if, you, if you automatically get an F on the quiz. It could be that it had some of those short and long answers that they need to grade. In this instance, there were none of those, so I know that's just a bad grade. I just got a bad grade. So if you ever wanted to see the attempt again, again, this depends on if the instructor set up the settings right. You can click there, and there you go.